they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Run the sisters, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clear them. Take me a minute, then I'm back in face. What's going on? This is Brian from Talk of the Town. I'm here with my man. Introduce yourself, brother. What's up? It's White Rose Moxie from Detroit. From Detroit? Cool. I was just, that's what I was about to ask. Where are you from? I know you're not from New York. So, Detroit, how you grew up there all your life? Yeah. Um, it's funny. I was born in Brooklyn. Oh, so you, grew, so you were born in New York and then you moved over to Detroit when? Like, super early. Like, I was a kid. Like, you don't even remember? No. Oh, your parents are together then, or? Mm hmm So they. But uh, my pops had a job though out here, so we they was out here. Then me and my mama moved back to Michigan. Got you. And mm -hmm. then your pops stayed here. Mm hmm Got you. And then what got you started like growing up in music? Uh. Really, my dad and ma listened to a lot of music, like a lot. Lauren Hill, Jay Z, all of that. Like a whole bunch of stuff though, like uh, what else? Outcast, like just I remember a whole bunch. So not a lot of Detroit stuff. I mean that too, but I mean they wasn't heavy into uh, rap that I listened to. If that makes sense, like they a little older, so they was on like. Oh, a lot of the older, the older stuff like Big and all that. Yeah, that era, like almost like Big Daddy Kane and like Talib Kweli and like. Missy Elliott almost <laughs> like them type vibes. That's not even old, bro. But <laughs> I see, I see what you say. Yeah. But, oh, um, dude. So then, what got you started into music? Like, how old was you? Like when you really started, like saying, like, all right, let me get into this music stuff. Um. Like you mean just like taking it serious? Not, not really taking it seriously because you know I know I know like as an artist, people continuously like grow, and then there's like a pivot where For they're sure. like, okay, like now I really want to take this seriously. You know, I want to quit my job and do all things like that. So like mm -hmm. when you actually just started like saying like hey I like I like listening to music every day like maybe you know rapping at school or something you know freestyling at the table with your boys Oh yeah I started that like when I was like 8 I had this asthma attack put me in a coma for like a couple of days What word? Yeah, I swear. That's crazy. And I think that was like 3rd grade and um Yeah, I think that was like 3rd grade. That's insane. And then how you like as soon as I came out of that, I just wanted to make music. Like, I don't even know, like, you how to explain it. <laughs> yeah, yeah cute, damn near. But that's young, that's young as I was about young to say, as young as hell, though, to be having that type of shit, but. Nah, I would, even right now, I'd be, I'd be scared as fuck just <laughs> for that to happen to me. So, at eight years old, I, you know, I commend you. So then, when did you start taking it seriously, then? Um, high school. High like, school? How yeah. old are you now? I'm 20. 20? Oh, so you just fresh out of high school? Yeah. So cool. And then when did you feel like you started getting some notoriety, <laughs> some support? Um, probably like 2019. I had dropped this song January 1st called White Go. Yeah. Still my biggest song on Spotify, damn near. That's the one with 8 million, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, I was tapped in. I've heard. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like, I definitely feel like I've heard it before because, uh, um, so then... I guess growing that song, do you uh, what, what do you feel like helped you? Like the blogs, promoting it, things like that? Yeah. Yeah, you, you was just tapped in? Because I saw, I saw you was tapped into like Hive Mind and like a couple other oh, bands growing up. Really? I didn't even really get tapped in with Hive Mind until like later. They hard though, I fuck with them. Yeah, they're, they're you know, taking like the lyrical I'm mean, out, just growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, I low-key, Hive Mind is tough because they, they in the city. Like, what? They was like five minutes from the studio I was at at the time, so it was like, damn, I could slide over there whenever. And how did you link up with them? Um, I think it was just like we was we both knew about each other, and I just hit them up like, yo. Oh, so they was already tapped in. Yeah, and they knew people I knew too, like the Detroit like music scene, like it's big and small. I say like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you know a couple people, they probably know somebody else on some shit like that. It's just snowballs into everybody knowing each other. Mm hmm. I got you. So then, uh, growing up then, uh, like what were some of your, uh, like influences, inspirations as far as, you know, wanting to not replicate them, but you know, uh, it was a lot of people, like a lot of people. I say, I just, I was more like, I was thinking about it. I was more the type to just whatever song it was, I wanted to know all the words, like, on some shit like that. So you just repeat it over and over? Yeah, like, on some shit like that. 
Got you. So then, any artist, like anything particular, any artist that like you feel like is your absolute like. Um. Mm, maybe like. I don't know. I was listening to a lot of Travis Scott in high school Travis. while I was taking it seriously. Travis uh, is my favorite artist of all time. So yeah. I, I'm not even, I, I feel you 100%. He crazy. He crazy. You, 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 how do you feel about everything that went down? Mm. I don't know. You think he's going to have a big comeback? Or you think he's done? I hope he keep dropping music. I hope he do. He has, he has that utopia coming out, but... So then you feel like you feel like that's one of your inspirations for real. Yeah. Cool. And um, I say Future Wayne, Lucky, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so then dream collaborations, any of them? I would assume like Lucky. Lucky would be crazy. He's lucky's crazy right now. He's going bananas. Facts, and I've been listening to him like for a minute, so that would be. Yeah, he's been he's been grinding. Yeah, hella respect to like Lucky. I feel like, mm, I say he one of the greatest, if not the greatest, right now. Rappers. I, I would not. I don't. I, some people say that's a hot take, but you know, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Like he's tough. <laughs> so, tough. Uh, my notes right here, it says, it says one of your, your big things is doing things intentionally, like doing things with a purpose. Do you want to, like, break that down a little bit? Like, how do you, ha like, how do you see things? Um, like, I feel like it's a lot of shit done just without intention. And it don't necessarily be bad, but I'm just trying to bring something different, I guess. Like, like, yeah, I feel like, mm. A lot of successful, like, right, even me, like, I've done, like, running gun videos before, like, for example. But what I want to bring, like, and what I want to offer is more thought out. Like, I want to bring everything, like, kind of thought out. And not to the point where it's like, oh, my God, like, you know, too crazy. But just, you know, I really feel like we damn near in a period where art coming back anyway. So, Yeah. I definitely see what you're saying. And that's crazy that you said that because um, the next thing I was going to say was the, the Wayside Music video that you just put out. That's the only thing on your Instagram right now. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah, right. sir. So, so I tapped in and it, like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's one of the most creative like things I've seen just coming out the underground because like, you have all the, like what you're saying, it's not really thought out. So like I feel like people are just microwave music, you know? They just put it in for like a second. It's one minute songs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then, but but with your, your music video, you had all the references, like the 50 reference, Kendrick, like all that. You wanted to speak on the, the Wayside video a little more? Like, like what made you think of that? Because I know you were working with that, the director as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was kind of like the same. Like a nigga will walk in the studio and he'll be like, uh, make something like, like make a little Uzi song or like. Make a Playboy Cardi song, like, <laughs> and that should be so funny, but people really be thinking like that. So I just took that to, like, visuals. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of people mimicking sounds, even down to me. Like, I done seen, bro, I done literally seen uh, Moxie clones. Like, that shit get crazy, like, in my city. From your city, right? In my city, like, which is crazier, like, if you really know. But, like... I feel like, yeah, it's just kind of the way right now, you know? So I was just taking it to the videos. So, like, that. It's it's funny you say that. So, like, coming up then, now that you say I'm um, from your city, like, you don't feel like maybe you're also the blueprint for a lot of people? You don't want to take that responsibility of, like, you know, like, maybe, you know, obviously don't clone me, don't copy what I'm doing, but follow my footsteps because I'm showing you how to do it. You don't feel that way? Yeah, no, that's real. Uh, No, nah, let me clarify. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, look-wise. Like. Oh, they just copying your whole style. Like, yes, like, like <laughs> crazy. Like, it, you, you'll be surprised. Like, mm, that do look like you, like, on some <laughs> shit like that. But, I mean, as far as the music, like, I hope people definitely, like, see what I did, like, you know what I'm saying, learn from it damn near, like, or get inspired or 
whatever. Because I feel like it's been a minute. It's been kind of rocky. It's been a minute. It's been a lot of shit going on. And so you can take whatever from it for real. I feel that. So uh, it also says right here that you're a, you're a big book person. You like to read a lot. <laughs> yeah. So talk to me about that. Like you, you feel like maybe reading books helps you with your creativity. Cause like I said, you're like a lot of the songs that I heard, is like just completely different. You know, like we have a lot of drill people up here, but like you're mm-hmm. art, like you're like an artist, artist. I feel like, you know. So like you want to like does books help you in that sense? He said it twice. That's how you know. <laughs> uh, shit, I feel like I like reading. I always did. Like I don't even know. I just always was on that. Like even in like as a kid. Like, I'd be reading chapter books, like, for real, like, in elementary school. Like, just bringing it to class, like, I was interested in that shit. Like, I don't know, it was the story. Like, telling a story, I was always interested in good stories. Like, I could listen to a real good story. Gotcha. And you, you feel like that helps you, like, that shapes you at all in your music, or? Yeah, I'd be absorbing that shit, so it's like, it'd be with me. So then, like, okay, so... You know, some kid. I didn't grow up reading. I grew up just watching TV, playing video games. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard to like, especially in this so like social media era, it's hard to maintain like information in your head. Do you feel like reading is easier to do than uh, like maybe like watching TV or scrolling through TikTok because it helps your creative mind? Because like I like you know, <laughs> like that's different. I feel like like a TikTok could be like in my head, like I could see it damn near again, like I could hear that bitch. Like yeah. it's like I want to say it out loud. <laughs> But the reading should be more like when I'm talking to you, like I just be talking, I feel you. like smoother. I don't know, like and if I don't read, like I can hear it in the music, like I'd be saying, it'd be duller. I don't know. Gotcha. So uh, I talked. We talked about this earlier when you walked in, but I was uh, watching your Rolling Loud performance, and that so that was your first time in Rolling Loud. Uh no, that was my second time. second time. But that was the first time I was on the YouTube they, they with the set. No, then, yeah. yeah. Got you. So so how how'd that come up? So I guess how did it come out the, the first time? Um, the first time, shit, nah, it was crazy. Tariq just followed me on the gram and then the next thing I know for real. We was in LA and uh I had got the email. They was like, Rolling loud LA, do that do the LA one and we was in LA, like that shit was crazy. And um I was like, bet. And then we did it. Cool. And then we came back for the Miami one. And the Miami one was different. It was a whole different level. Even though it was like four or five months, it was just like I was ready that time, like for real. Yeah, the Miami one was crazy. You had all your people on stage with you. I swear, you feel me? Going crazy. Like, like, I loved it. You feel me? I swear. LA one, we had just hopped off tour. So it was like that type of energy. Like, we had just did some whole shit. And then we hopped right back on the road. And then Miami one was like, okay, okay. Everybody here, like, that was tough. You feel like it's helped you a lot? You feel like a lot more eyes are on you now? Um, yeah, but I don't know. It just be, it just be normal. I, are you signed or? Yeah. And who you signed to? 300. 300? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. How long ago did you sign? I signed in 2020. 2020? Mm-hmm. Uh, right, pandemic time. On some crazy shit during the pandemic, yeah. yeah. But that's when you feel like maybe it's going crazy? I mean, like, at the time, probably, you felt like it was going crazy. But now, but now 2022, after doing Rolling Loud and all this other stuff, you probably, have to, you, you know, it's always up. Yeah, it's always up. I mean, like, like, it wasn't even the same in 2020, bro. Like, I was still trying to, um... Like get somewhere for real You know what I'm saying Like everything All the success I had To my name Was not music related Like I had white gold But like That was it Like you know what I'm saying And that's like SoundCloud era too So you know Everybody just think Everybody is SoundCloud rapper And I mean I love SoundCloud rappers I grew up listening to that shit But it's like Damn That's not what I was trying to do With that Like That wasn't what I was trying to be on So Getting signed after that Was just kind of like I had a lot of people that I told, like, watch this. Like, you know what I'm saying? And how does it feel now just to be able to say, like, look at me now? Mm, I wouldn't say that shit, I feel like. But at the same time, it feel like, uh, 
Like that's part of the motivation too though. Like you can make something happen for real. That's hundred percent. Like I got signed like in pandemic, like probably three weeks after I had dropped the project. And I feel like I don't know. Like I was just saying it. You know what I mean? Like I was really saying like I was about to do that. Like it was crazy. I was telling my my uh my homie lock in here with me. Ever since like we met, we was saying like, all right, bet deal before I graduate high school, and then that shit came just like that. So you was always looking to sign, huh? You was always looking to sign, or? Mm, yes, cause like at that time, that was like what how I was thinking. And how do you think now? Like so for the people, you know, for the younger artists out there, would you tell them to sign, or would you tell them to stay independent? I say. Just go with the f- like, go with whatever feel right for you, for real. Like, don't be, don't be like hard headed and pass up a bag, but also know what you want and know what you need. Yeah. That's true. So. Oh, and get a get somebody who good at reading uh paper, like the contracts. Lawyer up. Yes. Yes. Even if you think you don't got to, if it's a contract, have somebody at least look over it. Because you will miss something. Even if you think you got it. I swear. That's true. So I'm going fl- to flip it right now. Uh, it also says that, uh, I, I wrote this down OD long ago, but it says your favorite show is Atlanta. Oh my God, I've been <laughs> watching that shit crazy recently. Atlanta's like one of the, I, I think Atlanta's one of the best shows that they, like for, for anybody doing like a creative route at all. Bruh. It, it, it just shows the process completely. He, uh, Donald Glover is crazy. Like, I like a lot of his art and his music, but once I seen Atlanta, I was like, okay. And my friends was telling me to watch it. They was like, watch Atlanta. Like, put you on. Yes, and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Didn't watch it. <laughs> and then you just was like, got to pick it up. Swear, we was literally at the uh, uh, Clark Spillman Morehouse homecoming, and I was like chilling down there. And I usually be moving, but we was kind of chilling one day, eating. We was eating some lemon pepper wet wings. That's what <laughs> happened. So then after that, I was tired sitting back. <laughs> we watching Atlanta, and I was like, damn, this shit crazy. Uh-huh. I finished it damn near before we left. I got to, like, season three or something, and then I finished it when I got back. Still waiting for the next one. Man. Yeah, still but I, I, I like it just because I just feel like it's just so spot on for young artists just trying to get in. But it's from a, like it's also a manager's point of view, you know, because like, he plays as the manager. So it's like it, it shows a little of both sides, like the business side, but also like the rapping side, and like it's crazy. But how yeah. do you feel about the the other one, the Lil Dicky show? Have you seen that? Uh, Dave. Dave, I've seen a little bit of that. I've seen a little bit of that too. Yeah, you don't mess with it? No, not even like that. It's just I got I got a short attention span. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've seen a little bit of that. That's cool too. Gotcha. Definitely. I see you. I see you dripped out. You big on fashion too? Yes, I am heavily into fashion. Um, it's crazy you say that. The hoodie though, um, it's from my, it's from my brother's clothing line. Yeah, currency, it's currency clothing. Currency. Mhm. Two Ks. Currency clothing. Okay. Yeah, this some unreleased though. Coming soon. It's, that's crazy. I was looking at it earlier. What about the pants? Pants too? Um, nah, these. I don't know what these is. Got you. Any fast oh, but like? this shirt is No Rivals. Shout out No Rival Shop. Got you. So, we like some of your fashion influences, huh? Um. Would you say Trav? Since the, that's what you was listening to growing up in high school? Uh, yeah, I like, uh, uh, he cool, he cool for sure. I say I was looking at a lot of, uh, I was looking, I'm not even gonna lie, I was looking at a lot of, like, ASAP Rocky fits. I remember that, like, specifically. Like, eighth grade, I look up, like, ASAP Rocky fits 
Tyler the Creator fits. And then I don't know in ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, it was like I went to a school with a uniform, so it was like I couldn't even be on it like that. So I feel like I didn't fall out of it, but it was like I wasn't into it as much as I was. And then, but I was still like watching it, like what was going on. And then now it's like, I mean, I only like to wear like my favorite stuff now, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Like I wear some pants like all week. Like I wear them on Monday, Friday, Saturday. Gotcha. You on the move though? I swear. Gotcha. So we gonna we gonna play a quick game. Uh, I like to call them cookies. You know. So I'm just gonna uh, gonna say some like your favorites and all that, and uh, you're gonna explain why. Okay, Quick. bit. Got you. So, favorite rapper? <laughs> Call Quickies, bro. You gotta. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Favorite rapper? Uh, Adam Marlock. Why? Mm. He's got great lyrics, great beats. Got you. Favorite superhero? Um. Uh. uh oh my God! Static Shock. Static Shock. Yes. Why? He hard. He hard. Uh, uh, best fashion show? Um, There was just a fashion show at Michigan State University not too long ago. You said fashion show? Fashion trend. Oh, best fashion trend, by the way. And it was crazy. It's an article out if you check it out. But um, best fashion trend? That's what you said, right? Yeah. Uh... The Kanye fucking glasses. The Kanye? Oh, the, the, the shades. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I messed with those. Oh, worst fa- okay, worst fashion show. Um, freaking the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Jersey wave. Jersey wave? Yeah. Like in rap music or? Yeah, I feel like that called for a lot of bad outfits. Like some people turned it up, <laughs> but like other people, I don't know, bro. That was the address to era. Oh, man. Uh, best era for music? 2016. 2016? Just oh, my simply. Goated. Best year ever. Mm-hmm. Worst era for music? I don't know. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Um, favorite directors? Um, Jordan. Peele. Why? Nope. Get out. Love him. I, uh, nope. I, I, I heard like bad things about Nope. But, uh, favorite video game? Ooh. Minecraft. Minecraft? Yeah. Why? Uh, soothing, like you know, relaxing. Uh, exactly <laughs> what you mean. Uh, your favorite clothing brand? Um, mm. currency clothing. Two Ks. Got you. Favorite childhood movie? Mm, either Chucky or The Polar Express, probably. Got you. Uh, your favorite food? Mm. Ribs, barbecue, ribs. You heard the McRib is back, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the McRib. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. But barbecue ribs with the bone in them, there we go. Gotcha. Your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Yeah, favorite drink. Hawaii, Kia, water. Hmm? Volcanic, Hawaiian. Gotcha. I got two more. Your favorite quote? Mm. I don't know. My favorite quote? You don't have no quote in there. Mm. Could be you. I got one. I got one. It's called quickies, bro. Oh right, right. <laughs> that's 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 my favorite quote right there. <laughs> that's it. That's you. Yeah. All right, and uh, you lastly, your favorite thing about yourself. Um. So, um, my sister. Your sister? 
Yep. Gotcha. How old is she? She nine. Nine? That's beautiful. Yeah. And let's see what I got last. Gotcha. So let's just end it off with your album. Talk to me. When is it coming? Um, Human Behavior comes out December, early December. Um, we're gonna be dropping a couple more singles before then. I got one dropping like a week from today, but like probably like middle of November. Gotcha. Any any features to expect? Stay tuned. And a uh, couple videos dropping too. So, yeah. I was about to ask, are we going to get a video for the single next week? Yeah. That, that, the way that video is crazy. That's going to be hard to top, but, you know, I think you got it. Coming soon. We about to drop a trailer, so for real. Type in. Gotcha. Cool. So let them know where to find you. Um, Find me, Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram. Whatever, at White Rose Moxie. Cool.